Now to our top story tonight. The high stress this pandemic is putting on local hospitals. The mayor says we are seeing a rush of admissions. 881 coronavirus patients are in the hospital tonight. That's up 79 from yesterday. Tonight's total sets another all time high. You can see a steady increase in patients over the past two weeks. 274 patients are in the ICU right now, which is that orange column you see here. Meantime, there's a concern about having the staff to care for these patients. Hundreds of nurses are heading here to deal with the surge. For that, let's go live to Eyewitness News reporter Henry Ramos. Henry, where are these health care workers coming from? The Navy and from across the state. More than 800 nurses are needed in San Antonio and needed now. This is a model indicates hospital numbers expected to double next week. Tonight, we're also learning that half of the coronavirus patients ending up in the hospital do not have underlying health conditions. We are following a similar path that New York took for sure. Moving in the wrong direction in the fight against the coronavirus. More people in the ICU are on a ventilator, the number doubling in just a week. Nobody is immune to COVID. Uh, anybody can get quite sick from it. And in addition, COVID is highly infectious, much more infectious than the flu. Dr. Robert Leverins is the chief medical officer of UT Health Physicians. One of the latest models showed the number of patients in the hospital will double to 1,600 next week. You can see the trend in this graph here. What's going to stem the tide of this pandemic more than anything is our individual behavior, wearing masks, staying home if we don't have to go out, socially distancing if we are out, washing our hands frequently. Nothing new. It is up to us to stop the spread, but even more critical now. Rudy Palacios Jr. begs you to listen. When the COVID attacked me, I was 24 hours fighting for every single breath. It hurts. For nearly two weeks, the 48-year-old has been in the hospital with the virus. His fight, no easy task. This pain is so intense. The flu looks silly. Officials say 25% of all hospital admissions are for the virus. Hospitals are doing their part to ease the stress. Leaders say Bear County has enough hospital beds, but not enough workers to care for the sick. Now, even though we could be heading into a New York type scenario, Dr. Leverett says there are some advantages in this fight compared to New York City. Uh, number one, our urban density is not the same and we do not rely on public transit as much. Dr. Leverett says what we do right now and using those safe practices is extremely critical because we could bend the curve in two weeks. So let's do it. San Antonio. We're live tonight in the Medical Center. Henry Ramos, Kins 5 Eyewitness News. Henry, thank you. While hospital cases are climbing, Bear County is also dealing with an exponential rise in cases overall. Metro Health reports 650 new cases tonight, but there are no new deaths. Tonight's jump in cases is on the far right side of this chart. It's the second highest we've ever seen after setting a record over the weekend.